Hey everyone, what's up? Good afternoon. Welcome to Bariatrics and Tips. I am Michelle Giesen, your hostess with the Moses, ready to dazzle you with another recipe demonstration. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. You know I say it every week. I love looking forward to this segment because I get to see you guys. I get to hang. Um, as my kids would say, I get to just vibe and talk about food, which is one of my favorite things to talk about. Um, if you're new to our show, welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you're new or if you're not new and just tuning in, it means you are um, liking and following our new and improved Facebook page, Bariatrics and Tips. Thank you so much. Um, lots of great things on the horizon for this public page. So please, if you know folks that are still um, tuned into the private page, please encourage them to migrate over because the content is going to be um, only on this page going forward. We just have a lot of good things and a, a huge vision that we want to realize and the private page kind of booted us out with our growth plan. So at any rate, I'll get back to that in just a second. One thing that we all have in common is that we have had weight loss surgery or we're gearing up to have weight loss surgery. Thanks, Melissa. Very, I appreciate it. Thank you. But whether you're, whether you've had weight loss surgery or you're gearing up to, or even if you're just trying to achieve overall wellness, good nutrition and health, or maybe you're even trying to combat diabetes, whatever the reason, I am glad you're here. And this is definitely the place to be. Um, we are given this new lease on life. Um, a new bariatric tool, maybe a, a different diagnosis, and we need to figure out a way to, my, to, to go through life with this and with our journey and trying to find ways to make things work. And just because we're given these tools or this diagnosis doesn't mean that we have to feel deprived of eating well. Food is a main part of our lives. It's in every aspect of our lives, whether you're at home, whether you grocery shop, whether you're at work and partake in potlucks or use the cafeteria at work or school, um, holidays, religion, recreation, the beach, food is everywhere and we can't escape it. So if you can't beat them, join them, okay? Our Facebook page and our weekly Facebook recipe demonstrations are designed to show you that you don't have to walk the face of this earth feeling deprived of having this or that. You don't have to worry about feeling deprived. You need to remove that word from your vocabulary because you should not have to feel this way. Life before and after bariatric surgery isn't meant to be spent thinking, I wish I could have done this, or I wish I could eat that. We can have fun with food. We can totally experiment and enjoy ourselves. It's fun to be in the kitchen. Being in the, in the kitchen is an adventure. You're on your own journey. The kitchen is a main attraction. So is the grocery store. Don't fear it, embrace it, okay? It's empowering and inspiring to be able to make a dish that you either have never made before or something that your family just loves over and over again. And even if you have a tried and true recipe that you've loved that maybe isn't the most nutritionally based, you can still find ways to make it over. And that is the purpose of bariatrics and tips, okay? This is our second chance to live life to the fullest, okay? And I have dedicated myself and our group page and these recipe demonstrations to proving to you over and over, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that we can live large, we can cook small, and we can find flavor in everything that we do, okay? So for those of you don't, that don't know, Again, my name is Michelle Giesen. I had gastric bypass surgery April 22nd, 2015, which makes my rebirth day six years old. So kind of ironic because this week I celebrate a birthday and I'm turning the big 5-0. I would rather be six. <laughs> At any rate, um, happy birthday to me, happy rebirthday to me, and happy rebirthday to all of you, okay? Um, I 
think that my gastric bypass surgery, the reason why I call it my rebirth day is because I, I was reborn that day. It was the day that I took control back. It was the day that I decided I was gonna live life to the fullest, okay? Um, and I made a permanent change to my lifestyle, one that I view as a renaissance of sort, and I hope that you are looking at your rebirth day in the same way. I've lost 130 pounds, I've kept it off, I worked really hard, and my journey has been good and bad and ugly at times, but I have no regrets. The only thing I have for you is insight, okay? I'm only human, I make my share of mistakes, I know you probably have made mistakes too, but the difference now is that we can seize the day and we can figure out what went wrong and isolate those bad behaviors before they get out of control. And the beep that you hear right now is my oven telling me that our recipe demonstration is ready. So I am going to quick take this out of the oven so it can cool and I'll continue to talk, and then when we're ready for the recipe demonstration, I'll be able to show, tell, and eat it for you, because of course, I didn't have lunch, so I'm gonna be eating this, okay? So let me take this out of the oven. It's looking pretty good. It actually overflowed a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out right now. These egg cups look amazing. I can't wait to show them to you. I just want to take a look real quick. Yep, they look like they're ready. So I'll turn off the oven, lick my fingers, and come right back to you, okay? So at any rate, I know we are talking about being able to isolate bad behaviors, and I think that's one of the key components to being able to live life with having had bariatric surgery or even making overall wellness decisions. Knowing when those bad behaviors creep up are pivotal to your success. And like I said, I'm only human, but when I see those bad behaviors, I'm able to nip them in the bud, ask myself a series of questions, and then move on with my life, okay? So I said it before, I'll say it again. I've dedicated myself and our group page to giving you tricks and tips to live life to the fullest, live large, cook small, and find flavor in everything that we do. The cooking small part is probably one of the most um, difficult things that I've had to do because I was so used to just cooking big. Cooking big because at the grocery store the serving sizes are big um, and because my appetite was big. Now it's like sometimes I have to half the recipe and I bariatricize it. That is my word. I am giving you permission to use it but a lot of times you do have to bariatricize the recipe in order to accommodate you. And that's what you're gonna see today in this recipe demonstration, okay? This, all of this, the grocery shopping, the meal planning, the overall wellness, the recipe demonstrations, the Facebook page, it is worth the time and the effort because I know that I'm worth the time and the effort and I know that you are too. And that's why I want to thank you for joining me, okay? As I said at the beginning, there are a lot of exciting um, things in the make for our group page. So please make sure you are liking and following our public bariatrics and tips group page, okay? You are gonna have a front row seat to some amazing stuff, okay? I hope that you enjoy the exciting new changes, the format, and um, as soon as I'm at liberty to discuss the final vision for you, you will be the first to know, I promise, okay? Just remember, if you need specific medical guidance or have questions about anything you see on bariatrics and tips, please don't hesitate to include your surgeon and or your dietitian into the mix. They're the pros, they know what's best for you, they are your medical advocates, okay? Now normally, we would mosey on into our Sunday Spotlight. Um, I, I don't have someone to feature today, and it always saddens me when I don't have someone to feature, but I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story of why I don't have someone to feature. I'm not mad, so if that person that didn't want to be featured today is watching, please take no offense to this, but I do want to drive a point home. When I approached this person to be the topic of our Sunday Spotlight, she replied, she politely declined. She said she was only um, a few weeks out from her bariatric surgery and she really didn't have any results to show. And that's totally fine, 
totally her prerogative. Um, she had some good things to say. She had some, um, she sounded a little frustrated too. Um, and I want you to know that even if you're three weeks out, you still have some successes. Maybe you got your water in. Maybe you've only lost some water weight. Maybe you're still trying to find your bearings where the protein is concerned. Um, but just because you're only three weeks out doesn't mean you don't have milestones. And so I want to make sure that I drive that point to you because if, I, if you are even thinking about being featured in the Sunday Spotlight, do it. The whole purpose of this segment is to feature you. You are worth the celebration. This whole journey is gonna be full of really small milestones and really large milestones. Maybe they occur on the scale, maybe they're the NSV, the non-scale victories that you're hearing everything about, but regardless, they merit celebration. You are on the journey of a lifetime and it's probably one of the most challenging things you've ever had to do, so celebrate. And when someone asks you to celebrate, do it, okay? Like I said, I'm not mad that there's no one to feature. Um, I just wanna make sure that you're emphasizing the positive on your journey because that outlook really, really matters, especially during plateaus and trying times, okay? So that being said, if you want to consider being in the Sunday Spotlight for next week, all you have to do is send a private message to Bariatrics and Tips or to me individually, Michelle Giesen, and give me a, um, a short-ish or medium-ish biography, maybe some words of wisdoms, maybe some tips and tricks that you've learned along the way. Um, if you're comfortable, your starting weight and current weight and pounds lost, um, if you're even more comfortable, a before photo and a current picture would be ideal. And for doing all of this, I will send you a Bariatrics and Tips logo magnet free of charge. The only thing you have to do is furnish me with your home address, okay? There's no cost to you. I just want to celebrate you, and I want to thank you for celebrating our group page, okay? So that is my rant about the Sunday Spotlight, rant over, please message me and let me know so we can celebrate someone next week, okay? Remember, Bariatrics and Tips is on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, and TikTok. You probably see the most activity right now on Facebook and Instagram, and that's perfectly fine. Everything else is set up for our future vision, although you will see things from time to time. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do at Bariatrics and Tips. You will be able to see all videos posted there, um, including a replay of today. As soon as we are done, I will post it, okay? So now we'll move into our recipe demonstration segment. If you're not familiar to the format, I've already started cooking and finished cooking everything. Um, my point is to talk about the ingredients, um, to talk about tricks and tips that I used along the way, and then to show you the finished product, okay? So we're making egg and feta breakfast cups today. The reason why I like this recipe is because, number one, it's portable and it's perfect portion control, okay? That's a two for one. Because you've got it in a muffin cup, um, you can take it with you in the car, you can pack it for your breakfast or lunch at work, you can even, I don't know, take it to the beach if you wanted, I suppose you could do that. But my point is, is that it's portable and because of its size, the portion control is already built in. And I will tell you, since we're talking about portion control, this recipe makes 12, 12 muffins, um, which is perfect because there's 12 cups in your muffin pan. Um, and each muffin is 68 calories, 4 grams of fat, 3 grams of carbs, and 9 grams of protein. So it is a great snack. It's a great gym snack for your workouts before or after. Um, it's a great midday snack. I mean, you can just, you can do anything. But speaking of doing anything, you can also take the skeleton of this recipe and you can modify it in different themes. Um, I know that this is egg and feta breakfast cups, but you can modify one to make it maybe a Mexican theme, an Italian theme. Um, you could use your favorite cheeses and, 
add a ton of different vegetables. There is no wrong way to make these breakfast cups, okay? But I did make it the traditional way, the way that the recipe will read, and you will receive this recipe at three o'clock. You will receive the recipe at three o'clock. You will receive another informational ingredient um, trick and tip at four o'clock. And then at eight o'clock tonight, you're gonna receive a bonus recipe on our group Facebook page that involves feta cheese because as my good friend Missy says, everything is better with feta. And she is not lying, okay? <laughs> so let's go back to our egg and feta breakfast cups. We're gonna go down the, the ingredients list and talk about them. And then I've got a couple of really good things that I wanna show you as well. So we're gonna use a small red bell pepper and we're gonna chop it up. It's roughly about three quarters of a cup. You're gonna um, cut in half 12 cherry or grape tomatoes, a shallot finely chopped, six to 10 pitted Kalamata olives chopped up, four ounces of shredded cooked chicken breast. And for this recipe, I actually used a can of canned shredded chicken breast just because I had it available and it was a no-brainer for me. Um, but you can make your own if you want. A half a cup of chopped fresh parsley, a, um, a total of six ounces of feta cheese, and the recipe actually calls for a half an ounce per muffin cup. So I actually, when I did it, I used my scale and I measured a half an ounce on each and then I put it directly into the muffin cup. And I'll talk to you a little bit about that as well. Um, I did fortify this recipe with Gene Pro. This is something that's optional. The nutrition facts that I gave you include the Gene Pro. And the reason that I did it is because it was a low calorie, high protein, no brainer. But the other reason why I did it is because that way with the boosted protein content, you'll probably feel a lot more satisfied after just one. Okay, so again, completely optional ingredient, but the nutrition facts on this recipe included, okay? Um, eight large eggs, salt and pepper to taste, a half a teaspoon of Spanish paprika, and if you're not familiar with what the difference is between Spanish paprika and regular paprika, you will find out today at four o'clock on our Facebook page. But Spanish paprika is also synonymous with smoked paprika. So I had been looking for it in the um, grocery store and I couldn't find it. So finally I Googled it and Spanish and smoked paprika are the same thing. But Spanish and smoked paprika and regular paprika are different. Okay. And you'll find, again, you'll find more about that at four o'clock. And then finally, another optional ingredient is turmeric. Um, and it just calls for a quarter of a teaspoon. I know um, one of our viewers, Renee, has an allergy to turmeric, so you'd obviously want to leave that out. Okay, so that's our, um, that's our ingredient list. All you're gonna do, really, one of the main things that you need to do is you wanna make sure that your oven rack in your oven is in the center and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then, generously spray your 12 cup muffin pan. Now, I did something a little bit different. I decided, I wanted to use cupcake wrappers because again, I'm thinking portable meals and being on the go, going to work, etc. cetera. Um, so I ended up Googling it and do you know that there is actually a muffin paper out there that's parchment paper? and I have it for you. It's a culinary grade um, parchment baking cups and I'll come around and I'll show you. And I opted to use these. They were not expensive at all. Parchment baking cups. These I got locally at my grocery store, which is Meyer, And they look like regular muffin cups, but they do feel and look like parchment paper. And so I used these because I didn't want the I didn't want the paper of the cupcake wrappers to stick to the egg, if that makes sense. So um, I use these, 60 of them cost me only $2. Um, I bought two containers of it because I officially don't want to be without these guys anymore. So that really helped me in, in mind, especially 
if you like this concept of making portable meals, this might be a really good investment for you. You can use these and um, freeze them. Uh, you, you can eat them on the fly, whatever you want to do. But that was a good best practice for me. So I really enjoyed that. If you have any questions about that, you can let me know. Or I can put a picture of it on the Facebook page if everybody wants me to do that. I'm happy to do that, okay? So at any rate, you're either going to spray your muffin pan or you're going to use your parchment paper muffin cups, baking cups. Um, now you want to make sure one of the main things that I learned about this recipe is I prepared all the ingredients at the beginning beforehand. And you might have seen one of my teaser alerts on our group Facebook page that showed the cutting board with everything. Do yourself a favor and have everything in place because this is going to be like an assembly line uh, muffin maker kind of thing. And so what I did was I chopped up everything and got everything ready because what you want to do is divide the peppers, tomatoes, shallots, olives, chicken, parsley, and feta between the 12 cups so that they're all about two thirds of the way full. And that's exactly what I did. I put all of those ingredients in each muffin cup. And then in a large mixing bowl, I added the eggs, the Gene Pro, the salt, pepper, and the rest of the spices, and I whisked the heck out of it. Then, I, then it, the, the, or the recipe says to pour the mixture carefully over each cup, leaving a little room at the top. And I, I envisioned that and I envisioned a mess. <laughs> so I was like thinking to myself, how on earth am I going to pull this off? Well, here's another best practice. I used the cup that comes with the NyQuil <laughs> and I filled it about two thirds of the way and I poured it into each muffin cup. And then when I got all 12 of them done and I still had some egg mixture left, I just went back again and divvied it out and this worked perfectly. I love these plastic NyQuil cups. I held on to them for a reason and today that reason <laughs> was apparent. So that was a really good best practice too. Just wanted to share that with you. And then you want to just, um, it actually said to put the muffin tin on top of a sheet pan to prevent excess drippage. Um, and I so should have done that, but fortunately I didn't need to. It looked like it kind of toppled over, but it never went down into the oven. But that is a good best practice, and I do believe the recipe makes that suggestion to you when I wrote it up, okay? So all you're going to do is um, cook them for about 25 minutes or until the egg muffins are set. And then it wants you to let, um, to let it cool for a few, which is what I've been doing while we've been talking. And then run a knife around the edges of each muffin to loosen. Um, I might have to do that because if it bubbled over, even with the parchment paper liners, I still might have to do that. Um, and then it says remove from the pan and serve. And variations that you can use this, you can add um, chopped Roma tomato, you could add spinach or asparagus, you could um, maybe some green onion if you don't like the shallots. You can modify this recipe to your liking. You can theme it up and and um, make it Mexican, or like I had said before, or anything savory, how you want it. You could even make like a pizza themed one with some pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese. There's no wrong way to make this recipe, okay? So again, if you're just tuning in, we're looking at 68 calories per muffin, and these are full-size muffins, not the mini ones. You're looking at four grams of, four grams of fat, three grams of carb, and because I fortified it with Gene Pro, you're looking at nine grams of protein. Okay, so I'm gonna bring them on over. Hopefully they're cool enough where I don't need anything but my hands. They're looking good. Very, very nice. Let me come around, I'll show it to you. They did boil, they did go over a little bit, but you can see, hopefully you can see. There you go, see, all right. And there's the dog. All right, so let me get my knife. And see, because there's food on the kitchen counter, my dog has come running. Lego, this is not for you. Oh, these were super easy. I didn't even need the knife. All right, so let me show you this bad boy. Now I will take it out of the parchment paper because I am ready to eat it. 
I'm going to come around and show it to you. These are spinach, or these are egg and feta breakfast cups. Look at that. Okay, let me open it. Let me cut it open and show you the inside. This does have salt and pepper to taste. You can obviously add more depending on how you like it. Look how good that looks. I mean, completely a substantial meal. All right, so should I put it to the test? Put it to the test and try my own concoction. I made them before, trust me, they're delicious, but I will take one for the team and volunteer myself as tribute and I will try it here in front of you. <laughs> mm. It's delicious and the dog is on my leg begging. They're wonderful. I hope you like them as much as I do. Um, I think I will add a little bit more salt and pepper to it. And maybe a note on my recipe card to add a little bit more salt and pepper to taste. But other than that, it's fantastic. It tastes very um, light and springy, summery. Um, I envision this with a little bit of asparagus. I think the next time I make them, that's what I'm going to add into it. Just like, like chopped up asparagus. It's delicious. And really, I'm ex exercising extreme control because what I really want to do is put my face in it. <laughs> but I won't do that because you're watching. So at any rate, that is our recipe demonstration. I've got 11 more left, so that's wonderful. I am back in my office now, so this is gonna be a really great thing for me to take in my lunch bag when I need a mid-morning or a mid-afternoon snack, or both, okay? So let's talk about what we have on the horizon because there are so many great recipe demonstrations um, coming at us. Next week on August 15th, veggie spring rolls are amazing and I've made them repeatedly and everyone always asks me for the recipe so I'm going to demonstrate that for you and I think I'm actually going to demonstrate the assembly of it as well because that is a skill that is acquired. Um, August 22nd tuna and salmon patties two of my favorite things to make these can be made in the oven, in the air fryer, or in a pan. August 29th, spinach frittata, another nice portable little goodie made with eggs. September 5th, not really fried rice. This is going to change your entire life, I assure you. It's gonna be amazing. September 12th, Mongolian beef. And September 19th, spaghetti squash pizza cups. Need I say more? That, that's amazing. And then finally, the last scheduled one I have, and don't worry, there'll be more, but right now, for all intended purposes, September 26th, we're gonna do pho, meaning false, and pho, P-H-O, one of my favorite soup concoctions that I can't wait to show you. So we got a lot of great stuff on the horizon, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe demonstration. If you're going to be heading out to the grocery store, um, have fun. I mean, really have fun. Look at it as an adventure. Take some time to stroll through the aisles and look at new things that might be um, beneficial for you on your journey. Um, shop the perimeter because that's where the good nutritious stuff is. Just have fun with it. It's an adventure. It is an attraction on your journey and you owe it to yourself to have fun, okay? So thank you so much for joining me today. I so appreciate the time that you take out of your day. It is a eh, somewhat decent day here in West Michigan. I've got um, some housework that I need to do after I do my bariatrics and tip stuff. I just came off of a one week band camp extravaganza with my daughter, so I'm just trying to find my normal again, and uh, that's all I got for you. All right, thank you so much. I will talk to you soon. Have a great rest of the day, okay? Bye.